love it when I walk up to my Habitat Restore and I find items like this. So it's fill a bag full of fabric, $5, you get the bag at the desk. And look at this, these are scrap pieces of, it looks like leather and suede. And you know, there's some larger pieces in here too. So you know, this would be a good deal if you're doing crafting projects or maybe jewelry pieces. And here's a vintage table. We saw this last week. They've got it deeply discounted for $20. Again, a touch-up marker. It's going to be good as new. I just love it when they set these items outside at my restore. And this restore's hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. And you know, I'll link their address in the description box below. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. And here's a shot around the store. And y'all know by now, we're going to get into all the areas. And look at this mirrored server. Oh my gosh. So right out of the gate, $250. It made my heart race when I turned around and saw this piece of furniture. I absolutely love it. I didn't see a thing in the world wrong with it, except that it's not at my house. <laughs> look at that. So it's got the black door inside. I love that. And look at these fancy pools. So it's got a place for wine bottle storage. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love it. Love, love it. <laughs> love, love, love it. And look at this table. So they call it the ghost table with chairs. It's a little over $400. Talk about fancy. And it's perfect paired with that server. And these were sold. Just another reason we need to shop our Habitat Restore several days a week. And look at this, a set of four dining room chairs for $40, $10 a chair. Look at that. I love that caning on the back of the seats. And here's a shot back through their dining room tables and chairs. This is just kind of going back through their living room furniture. Oh, isn't it fun to go to the restore? Oh, I love it. <laughs> and look at this pillow. So it's so cute. And I met a lady. I'd never met her before. And she came up to me, asked me what I was doing. And she wanted to show you she's going to buy this pillow. That's what I found. Oh, my gosh. You know, this is going home with me. I love pillows. Especially feather pillows. I love it. You have a good day. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. She was so sweet. And here's a little owl. He looks like he's made of mercury glass. I'm not sure, but he's a dollar. Fabulous deal. And here's a five drawer basset chest, a little over $200, and it comes with a mirror. And you know I've got to open those drawers and that was really smooth and look at these wooden bar stools for $25 I love that dark wood Look at this unique piece. So it's $8. They've tested it. It works. It's an ornate mantel clock. Oh, I love it. Again, talk about fancy. That is super fancy. And I think it says self starting. And here's a vintage 1940s ice bucket with a hammered handle. And it comes with a little ice scooper. I don't think that was vintage. Look at that frosted glass. Oh, I thought that was a pretty piece. And I love the size of it that it's smaller. And here's a shot back through their dressers, their nightstands, chest of drawers. I'm telling you, this restore just goes on and on with fabulous deals. So here's a dresser, $75. I just love the shabby chic kind of vibe on it.
and those drawers actually glided really smoothly and of course you know I love that design on it and look at this rocking chair like I've said before check your restore if you're in the market for a rocker I typically see one or two just about every time I go and I love that leather on the seat look at this chest so it was $145 they've marked it down to $55 and my restore does that from time to time if it's been there a while or even if it hasn't been there a while they'll just go through and mark things down and this caught my eye this little server for $350 I would use that actually to put my rings and earrings and jewelry on and you know we got to look at the cookbooks they go anywhere from 75 cents up to $1.25 and you'll have to tell me, has anybody out there tried the neutral bullet? So here's a whole book of recipes for that. Let's see. So Earthbound Cook, 250 recipes for delicious food and a healthy planet. Yes, 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 we need to all think about that. Oh, and Fast Appetizers. Oh, those look good. Oh, Campbell's Classic Recipes. <laughs> I've probably tried lots of those and feast from the Middle East oh I bet that's full of good recipes oh and here's a diabetic cookbook and they typically have something for everybody back here oh what is this instantly sweet oh yes I'm attracted to all that <laughs> don't need it but love it oh easy fruit appetizer 75 recipes so you know definitely check your restore for books and you know this restore in particular has a cookbook section it's always fun to go back through here and see what they've got and look at these fancy plates you could get for four dollars and these are perfect for serving like um, sizzling fajitas or maybe steaks on and you know we have to look through their dishes so their assorted dishes go anywhere from 25 cents for a cup or mug up to two dollars for a serving dish dinner plates a dollar bowls 50 cents oh and i love this robin egg blue color that would be perfect for a spring table and you're not going to have much money in it and look at this i thought it was so pretty so it kind of looks like confetti i love it at 50 cents a bowl and look it's fine china i'm telling you sometimes i can almost find a complete set back here so 50 cents for the bowls a dollar for the plates and look they've got a ton of them and this red plate caught my eye it looks older the pattern's a little bit worn but i think it's absolutely beautiful and look i turned it over it's homer laughlin And definitely check your restore for jars and vases. I think these were all 50 cents a piece. And look at this. I found all of these corks for $3. I've seen so many people do different projects and crafts with them. I actually saw someone do place card holders for a table with them. Look at this muffin tray with the egg shapes, $3, perfect for Easter. And this look brand new, it's a cookie sheet, $2. Here's a vintage waterfall vanity for $100. I absolutely love these. Sometimes I actually can find the bed and the dresser to go with them. And this older chair caught my eye for a little over $20. And look at this sweet little vintage style baby doll cradle, $30. You know I have a cat named Ric Flair. <laughs> I wonder if he'd sleep in that. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. And this is a vintage USA diffuser pot with a coffee pot, three pieces, $30. That looks like that daisy dot wear. I'm not sure if it is. 
And look at this, it's a hammered edge vintage aluminum large tray, $6.50. I love the flower pattern on the top. So I run across trunks sometimes, typically not military trunks, but look at this. You could get the First Lieutenant A.B. Hamilton's military trunk for $45. And definitely check your reused door for lighting or lamps. This is a brand new chandelier for $49. And look at this fancy thing for $59. And they test their lighting at this reused door and they marked it as very heavy. So it looks like it has the paperwork with it, but look at this, how fabulous. And here's a smaller one for $25. And you know, I love it. It kind of matches the one we just saw. So you could do one in your dining room, a matching one in your kitchen. It'd be perfect. And they've marked this down to $500. It looks like a brand new sink. I love that apron front on it. And look at this. So it's a marble top 15 drawer chest for a little over $100. Oh, I love it. I love that design on it. Okay, I'm stepping across the chain. I don't even care if I get in trouble. These are items that are waiting to be priced. You can't buy them this day. This is by far, hands down, my favorite piece of furniture. Look at this. Oh, I love, love, love it. Oh, and the fancy drawers for our secret papers. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? And I thought it just ended with this, but I gotta show you, there's something even better coming up. So look, it looks like it's been hand painted. Oh, I love this piece. It's absolutely beautiful. And I looked it up, Alexander Julian at Home, and these pieces go for a little over $1,800. So I don't know what they're going to price it at. We have to come back tomorrow to see what the price is. Oh, but look at that. Oh, that truly made my heart race. So while I'm back behind this chain where I'm not supposed to be, I found this sofa. I think it said $200. So I went around the corner and this blue dresser caught my eye. $120. I think that's a fabulous price. Oh, look at that color. I wouldn't do a thing to that furniture. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect the way it is. Oh, I love those drawer pulls. Okay, I heard them willing something out. Again, back in the back. And look, this is the other part to that. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I'm telling you, <laughs> I could not believe it. So they had no idea what the price was going to be. They're going to kind of look at that. But look how beautiful. So uh, this is that secretary desk with the bookcase. Look how fancy. Oh my gosh, they will have this for sale first thing tomorrow. If you want this, you get better. Oh, if you want this, <laughs> I can't talk. If you want this, you better get here early. And this table caught my eye for $42. I think, again, it would be perfect as an entryway table, you know, for your car keys, your phone, stuff like that. And look at this fancy non-drawer purple dresser for a little over $100. You guys know purple is my favorite color, so we had to stop and look at it. And like I've said before, check your reese door for artwork and prints and frames. This was $12, and these are huge. I think those colors would match that dresser that we just saw. Oh, and look at this. For $4, I can imagine this sweet little baby got in trouble with its dog somehow. <laughs> oh, they're in timeout. Okay, I wanted to showcase the chair. I think we've maybe seen it before. It was $80. They've marked it down to $35. I love the embroidery on the seat. 
give you a perfect accent chair. Look at that. I'm assuming that's needlepoint. Okay, I have a story. So I'm videoing this lamp. It's $16. I don't know, I think it's from the 1970s, it might be older than that, and this couple kept walking around me, and as soon as I stopped filming, literally this man grabbed this lamp and ran to the front of the store. <laughs> so this lamp will not be here if you come to this restore. He ran out with it. And look at this one, this might still be here. I love the base of it, it's $12. Again, it kind of gives me that West Elm vibe. And here's some more of their spring items. I love this wreath, $5.50. And I thought this was really pretty. I love this serving tray, $4. I love that pearlescent look on it. And now we're getting into their silent auction section and we're gonna go through here. So number 16 is a leather Lewis Farad bag. Love that. Number 15 is their Disney collection. It's Alice in Wonderland teapot and a Cinderella. I think it's an ornament and it's got the glass slipper inside. Oh, I thought that was so cute. And number 14 is a vintage bunny blow mold. So it's like a little Easter basket pull toy. Number 13 is an antique carpeted foot warmer for a Model T Ford and it would hold the hot coals. I never see anything like that. And number 12 is some folk art books from the 1940s through the 1970s. Number 11 is Princess House and it's from the Heritage Collection. Number 10 is just some more old books. It looks like cooking books. Number nine is vintage hand-carved figurines. And I didn't get a whole lot of the backstory on these, but I thought they were really interesting. Oh, and who had one of these? These are their Furby collections. They're the original toys with the tags. And here's the McDonald's collectible Shrek glasses. And this is some handmade pottery signed by D. Jorgensen and R. Mangum. I love those colors. And number five is a hand crochet quilt. Number four is Coca-Cola tins. Number three is a vase by Blinko. It's a hand-blown glass vase. Number two is Dan Marino action figurine. And number one is a gourd by D. Maya and it's a signed piece. Number 20, we've seen those before, it's those modern side tables. Number 19 is a Dritz dress form, someone's already bid $60 on that. Number 18 is a hand-drawn and painted Wake Forest basketball picture from 1994. Number 17 is an old school desk with a cast iron base, and someone had already bid $40 the day I was here. Isn't it fun just to go through these auctions and see what they've got? Look at this love seat for $100. I thought it was in great condition. I love the color. Okay, y'all didn't think I was going to get away with it without showing you a gift for your friend who has everything. You could get them this fancy little $10 doll. <laughs> Look, she's got her dress. She's got her purse. She's ready to go shopping. And she is signed. She actually might be a collectible, but I thought she was adorable. And here's a mid-century fruit plate, $8. And these steins caught my eye. They were $3 a piece. And I think they were all made in Japan. Okay, we had seen these before. It's those Seraphim figurines by Roman. And they have fabulous deals here. I couldn't believe it. So it's got its certificate of authenticity. This one's $12. 
If you collect these, definitely stop by this restore. And here's another one in the box, Heaven on Earth. And look, they had a huge one down here for $25. Heaven on Earth Valerie. And I've looked these up online. These go for way more money online. And just know when you shop your Habitat Restore, you're going to help someone else with home ownership and home repairs. So here's some vintage plates by Kafu. I hope I'm saying that correctly. They're sushi plates. And they said that it has a Chinese poem on the front. And here's another example of one of the items that was already sold. I'm telling you, you got to shop your Habitat Restore several days a week so you don't miss these items. And I just wanted to send hugs and kisses to all my viewers out there. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate your comments. I hope everyone has a great day. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.